This looks like my usual TV dinner, except it's not in a plastic container because the Chinese didn't have plastic containers back then. Actually, they had something better. Tough, natural and homegrown. Lacquer. And you could call it the world's first plastic. Like rubber, lacquer comes from a tree. The vernicifleur or lacquer tree. It's indigenous to China. It grows at high altitude and it's tapped in the summer and then left to recover for a minimum of five years. The tree's bark is cut into with a sharp knife and the sap slowly oozes out. It would take 10 trees to fill a pot like this. The basis to most lacquerware is wood. You take a carved wooden bowl and you begin layering it in lacquer. It's mixed with pigments to get different colors and has to be kept at the right consistency. Exposed to air, it forms a hard coat, resistant to water and acid or alkaline corrosion. After three or four coats, you've got your lacquerware. It's good? Yeah. At this factory, they still carry on the specialized craft of lacquer inlay. As early as 2,000 years ago, objects coated with black and red lacquers appeared in China, and since then, it's been used for everything from furniture to artworks. And some of the most beautiful, exquisite, and expensive antiques are lacquerware. But though these things are beautiful, they're hardly practical. And yet, Chinese lacquer is so tough, it makes remarkably resilient kitchenware as well. Take a heat-proof lunchbox. Right, let's see what this stuff can handle. First, boiling water. See what's any damage? No damage. Didn't touch it. Try something a bit more violent. This flame is at least a thousand degrees. Here we go. Thousand degrees. What can it do? Oh, it's not doing anything. Not marking it at all. You can melt aluminium cans with these things. So this lacquer's pretty good acid. We're going to pour this stuff on it. This is concentrated sulfuric acid, nasty stuff. And just to demonstrate that it's not just water, I've got some sugar cubes and when I pour the sulfuric acid onto the sugar cubes, it'll drag the hydrogens and the oxygens out of the sugar and all you'll be left with is blackened carbon and an icky gooey mess. And hopefully the lacquer won't take any damage. Instant caramelisation. Now let's have a look. Completely mangled them. Look at that, it's really going now. But it's not touching the lacquer. There, look at that, hasn't touched it. There's a bit of carbon left behind, a bit of gunge. Basically, totally unharmed by concentrated sulfuric acid. So, amazingly robust and decorative. Lacquer is a wonderful natural material and, in the ancient world, unique to China.